Hi guys, so I have a quick um, update. This is a very specific channeled message. This is just for one or two specific people that are in this third party energy group. Uh, for the rest of you, for those of you that are you know used to my, my regular mid month and beginning of the month uh, channeled love readings and financial readings, I'm going to continue to do those. I, I will be posting on the 15th as usual for each individual zodiac sign. But I have also recently started doing the third party readings. Um, and as you guys know, so the last energy update, which that, that video I did a few days ago, it was about uh, a masculine's business partner or friend or coworker that was basically planning on, is basically planning on screwing the masculine over. Um, I'm getting that there's something going on with him in the karmic behind the masculine's back for a lot of you guys, for a lot of them, and this is romantic. Um, there is, there's like a lot of something illegal, you know, possibly uh, signing, possibly something illegal going on when it comes to signing documents. Um, there's a karmic and a masculine that are... Um, or a karmic and a, and a masculine's friend or, you know, business partner or whoever that are basically teaming up to try to screw the, the masculine over financially. Um, so yeah, that was a last energy update. Uh, I went in depth into that in, in my last video. So check that out. If that resonates for you, if that's, you know, your, your energy group, your story, but I have, anyway, I have a specific message for one or two people that are in this third party energy group. So if you've been, you know, following my readings, my third party readings, I've been doing the last week or so. Um, this is for one or two people that are in this energy group. So energy groups are interesting. It's like, it's, it's the same story, but there's slight variation. So it's like for some people in this energy group, it's like, it's a business partner that's screwing over the masculine for money. But for others, this could be a coworker or this could just be, you know, another friend. But there is some kind of, um, I, I get that it's financial for the majority of the people in this energy group. It is financial and the karmic is in on it. There's something, for some of you, it's something illegal going on. Definitely a lot of shady, intense stuff going on behind the scenes. But, um... You know, I'll, I'll pull cars and I'll get more into that energy update later. Um, I do have some energy updates as well that I want to look into. I'm going to do it either later today or tomorrow. Um, but anyway, there's, there's a specific message that I just wanted to get out really quickly. And like I said, this is probably for only, this is for two people is what I'm getting here. Either one or two people in this energy group. So please don't try to make this fit if it's just not resonating. You know what I mean? Because you'll know if this is, if this specific message that wants to come through for someone particular is for you, you're going to know it's going to resonate for you 100%. If it's not resonating, then this is not your message. It's for somebody else that's in this energy group. But what's coming through so strongly is that there is a feminine who has, um, or a, a karmic, I should say feminine karmic that has a secret literally hidden under their bed. Um, I saw like, it looks like a shoe box or some type of box. And cause I channel primarily. So I, I get, I get visuals. I have dreams. I, um, I pull cards, you know, just to help clarify everything. And so you guys have that visual, but this is just channeled. And this is what I've been getting the past couple days. I keep seeing this. Um, there is a karmic who has something, something hidden under her bed. That's bad. It's, it's pretty dark, whatever it is. So I do want to say, um, proceed with caution if, if you, if this, you know, if you know this karmic and you want to know what this is about, proceed with caution because whatever this secret is, I'm getting that she's, she'll hide this secret with everything she's got is what I'm feeling. And like I said, this is just for one or two specific people that are in this energy group. So this might not be for you. Do not try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Um, this is a very specific channel message. This is something that I just saw. I got a visual of it. 
So the room, um, so the room that I saw, so if you go in, like if you're, the door is right here. If you're, if you're standing in the doorway, the bed's over here. Um, and the, and she sleeps on the right side of the bed is what I got is that there's a bed over here somewhere and I'm getting that she sleeps on the right side. So the right side, if you're, if you're in the doorway facing the bedroom, it's on the right side. But if you're like sitting on her side of the bed facing out, then it would be on her left side. But, but yeah, basically here's the door right here and then here's the bed over here and she sleeps on this side right here. And then there's a closet right over here. And I'm seeing this closet, I'm seeing this house is, uh, or apartment is, it's not new. It's definitely not new. I feel like it was built in like the 70s, the 80s, or 90s. Because I see a, um, I got a visual of like, I think it's a sliding door or it's like an old wooden door. I think it slides. Um, and that's like where like all the clothes and stuff or, or whatever's in the closet is, is right. This is the closet. This is the bed over here. And then she sleeps on this side, like, which is right by the closet is what I, is what the visual that I got. Um, and this could be past energy too. I don't know if this is still, if this room is still set up like this, maybe this is something from the past that someone needs to be aware of that they you know, maybe this is just a message. I don't, I can't tell for sure. This energy is very strange to me. I can't tell for sure if this is past energy or not, or current energy. Cause I'm getting for like, I'm, cause there's two people here. There's two people that are, that this story is for is what I'm feeling here. Um, so for some, the room is not set up like this anymore, but it was in the past. But, um, but I see that I see the closet and I just, that's what makes me think the the house or the apartment that this is in is a little bit older because it just looks like one of those old, you know, like those like eighties, nineties houses or apartments. They have like those old wooden doors and there's like that. Um, I think it's like a circle or whatever, like, a, a what it like, a like the handle on the closet, like it's slide. I don't know how to explain that, but it slides. But anyway, to the point. So I'm getting that this karmic has something or has or had something in this box. I think it's a shoe box. And like I said, if this is if this message is for you specifically or if this is for your person, because I know there's a lot of feminines that are watching this on behalf of the masculines, like divine feminines watching this to see what's going on with the karmic and the masculine and everything else. So if this is for you, I think this would, you would know this, you would have, we would have felt this or your person would have talked to you about this. You, you know, something was up already. Um, cause I'm feeling, so there's two people that this is for. So for one, for one person, I see a box that's filled with, um, it looks like, old pictures, like, like old, almost like forties, fifties, nah, I don't want to say fifties, but it's like, like older pictures. There's like this, this, this shoe box or some kind of box filled with pictures. And the karmic keeps this box underneath her side of the bed. Or she did, like I said, this could be past energy. This could be the way that the room was set up before, maybe a few years ago or so. And it might not be anymore. Um, I'm not sure. I can't, for some reason, I'm having a hard time getting the, um, getting if this is past or current energy. I think it could be both. So like I said, I think that there's two, there's two different people that this, this is a very specific message. Like I said, there's only two people that this message is for. So I think for one person that this message is for, um, this is past energy where the room was set up like this a few years ago. I think for the other person that this message is for, this is current energy. So for one of the karmic, like I said, two different people. Um, so, so one variation of this story is this karmic has um, its old pictures that she had or has in this shoe box. And I get like, I get like a weird nervous, like almost like a creepy feeling, like a dark feeling from this. Like she did something bad. She did something bad. I don't know what it was, but it's it's a creepy feeling. It's a weird feeling. Um, and she's very defensive of that box. I can tell you that. She's very defensive of whatever is hidden in that box. 
I feel like it might just be pictures. So it might be something that like the masculine saw, but he brushed off. He might have thought it was like a little weird. Like, why is she saving all these pictures? Or why is this? Why does this mean so much to her? Like what's in that box? And I feel like, God, there's like, it's, it's like there's a secret in there that's connected to, I think, an older male. It could be a relative. It could be someone that she cheated with. Cause I did remember in the last video I was doing, I was doing, I was getting a lot of cheating like this karmic and this is for the, like this. Okay. So this part right here is for pretty much everyone in this energy group. The karmic cheated a lot, a lot more than the masculine, than the masculine realizes. I think a lot of the masculines think she only cheated once or they don't know she cheated at all. And she actually cheated multiple times with maybe different people too. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so, so for one story, she's, so for, for one of these karmics in this situation, you know, like I said, two different stories here, um, for, for the, for story number one, she has, God, I feel like a weird, creepy, nervous feeling when I talk about it. So I'm like, what is it? Is it like, God, is it like incest or something? I don't want to want to say that. That's creepy, but it's something, cause I don't know what it is. It's like, I see these pictures in this box and it's like, I keep hearing it's like a relative, but then I also hear cheating. So I'm like, I don't know if it's connected. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe she cheated. No, I don't know. Maybe she has these pictures of like an ex and she tell, she told the masculine that this was just a relative, like a, like a cousin or something, but it's actually an ex of hers that she can't let go of. That could be it. I don't know what it is exactly. And maybe I'm not meant to know. This could be something very dark and personal that's actually just meant for the, the karmic and the masculine to know. Maybe this is just not meant for me to know what it is specifically. But I think that you, I think that this person, if this is your story, I think that you already know what it is or you already, you're already, you already know something's up. Um, so it's just like this box is filled with like, it's, it's. Well, I'm going to get to story number two. Give me one second. But this box is just, it's like there's, I just see pictures and I feel like there's like a seek, there's something like maybe, um, it's almost like a, like a detective kind of energy where it's like these pictures are tied to something else. Like it could be possibly tied. I don't know if it's tied to a crime. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on this energy, but it's, it makes me nervous it, like, I mean, channeling it, like, it's like a weird, like, creepy energy. Um, God, I don't even know what that energy is, but it's involving an, a male, an older male is what I'm feeling, or, a, or, a, or possibly a male relative. Or she, like I said, she might have lied and said it was a male relative, but it was actually not a male relative. It was something else, but it's just, it's a, it's, it's weird. It's a weird energy. But it's these pictures that are in this box. And I, I feel like there's something, um, it's almost like someone has to play detective where it's like there's maybe these pictures lead to something. Does that make sense? Like these pictures are tied to something that she wants to keep secret, but she can't let the pictures go because maybe it's the only picture she has of this person. This could be someone that she really screwed over, but she loves this person. So she doesn't want to let go of the pictures. This isn't ma the masculine. This is not, it's not pictures of the masculine. It's the pictures of someone else. Um, but it's like, it's weird because it's almost like, I feel like the pictures are evidence but you have to know what to look for when you're looking at the pictures to realize that it's evidence. Does that make any sense? Um, so it's like, it's weird that she's keeping the pictures, but, um, but there's like a nostalgic kind of like a very, it's like very secretive, very dark, very emotional for her. So she's keeping the pictures for, for, you know, sentimental value. Um, even possibly guilt for something that she did regarding this person or involving this person. Let me get to story number two though. Cause I want to get into that one as well. But, um, but yeah, it's just, it's a weird energy. So I almost feel like, I almost feel like if someone were to go through these pictures, they could tie things together. Like they could, 
like there's some kind of dark family secret or something hidden in these pictures. It's almost like someone would have to play detective and put the pictures together and they're going to figure something out. Like maybe there's like clues in the pictures or something. I don't know. This energy, this energy is creepy though. This energy is like, it makes me think it's something really dark. Like a, like, I don't know what it would be. I don't know. I don't think I'm even meant to fully tap into that. I don't think that's for me. I think that's actually, and I'll tap into just about anything. But with this, I think it's actually something that's meant to be like between the karmic and the ma or like the masculine deserves to know and needs to know, but I don't need to know kind of energy, which I never say. Usually I'm like, whatever, I'll find out, you know, I'll, I'm going to find it out because it's like, you know, people, you guys deserve to know what's going on. Um, but with this, it's almost like, it just, it just creeps me out. Like maybe it's like, I don't know. I do want to say, okay, I want to get into story number two because there's probably someone else here that's like, oh, I think this is for me. And they're like, oh, this part isn't resonating though. So let me get into story number two. Um, I do want to say be super careful because this woman will guard this box with her life. Like I said, it's possible she did something very illegal. Um, God, this is dark energy. Ooh, this is dark energy. This is creepy. This is really creepy. I don't even know if I want to know. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm just tuning in and it's just like, this is weird, whatever this is. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't want to figure it out. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> um... And I don't think the masculine is necessarily even meant to know what it is either. Like this could just be confirmation of someone's intuition. Like someone might be like, okay, I knew I was right. There's something in that box. I don't need to know what it is. It's none of, you know, like the masculine might, be, might just look back on it and be like, you know what? I don't need to know what it is. I'm going to move on from it. But I'm glad I saw this video because now I trust my intuition because I knew there was something up with that box. And I didn't think anything of it before. But like, you know what I mean? Like the masculine might not even care about what's in the box. It might, like th he might just be watching this video and being like, okay, well, at least I know that my intuition was on point. It's like, it might be like his spirit guides trying to confirm like, hey, that was your intuition. You know what I mean? Kind of telling him like, no, like that wasn't in your head. That was your intuition. Because I think the karmic is going to keep this, whatever this is, it's very dark. The karmic might keep it secret. The masculine might just not want to know. And I'm almost feeling like he might not want to even bother digging this up. Um, because she's too defensive of this secret. It's just going to be too much drama. Um, if he does try to dig it up, if he does try to look through that box, like, be careful. I'm getting, like, you need to sage yourself. You need to protect yourself. You need to, you need to cleanse yourself if you try to look into it. Because it's dark stuff. Um, and like I said, I'm getting some probably just don't want to know. Like some like like maybe he doesn't even want to know, but he just needed this video to be put out so that he understand that that was his, was his intuition because he's learning to use his intuition. So now he's going to know in the future like, hey, I don't care what the, was in that box. I don't care. It's not about that. I just... I'm glad that I know that that was my intuition because this person gaslit me into thinking there was nothing in that box when my intuition was telling me there was something in that box. And he might just think, you know what, it's none of my business what's in the box. I don't care what's in the box. That's, you know, that's the karmic secret. She can keep that secret to her, to her death. I don't care. That's that's her secret to keep. But I'm just thankful that my in, that I know that my intuition was right, that I can see now how I was being gaslit, even if I don't care about finding out what that secret was. And I'm honestly getting like for that story that you might not want to look into it. It might be too dark. You might want to just avoid that and just, just don't, just don't bother with it. It's not worth it. 
Um, and if you do feel the need to look into it, be super careful because like I said, I feel like she'll, she'll defend that secret. You know what I mean? Like you need to be really safe. Um, some of these karmics are crazy. Like this, this third party energy groups, these karmics are, are kind of psychotic. Cause I think, remember I was getting like the last reading, I was like, I saw one karmic just losing her shit in public and punching another girl in the face at a bar. And that was for someone specific, um, too. So like these karmics are like, they're not like, they're not powerful. They're just psychotic. You know what I mean? So it's like kind of one of those things where they're so like, they're like slit your tire type karmics. You know what I mean? So it's like, they're, they don't have any power. They're weak. They're crazy. They're insecure, but you still have to watch your back. You still have to watch them. You know what I mean? Um, you still have to be careful for those of you that are getting away from a karmic. Don't tell them you're leaving. Don't even, don't even like, don't, don't say, Hey, I'm leaving. Sorry. I'm going to pack my bags. No, no, just go, just go get out of there. Don't look back. Protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself, please protect yourself. Um, psychos like that don't deserve closure they don't need closure you've given them all the closure they're gonna get and if they keep saying no 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 I'm gonna try to force you to be mine that's you know what I mean like they, you don't need to give someone like that closure you've already given them closure if you told them no and they refuse to listen to that then they don't need more closure than that they don't deserve more closure than that just get out just just get out protect yourself watch your back um some of them might have people spy on the house because this is like, this is like an abusive relationship for a few of the people in this energy group. This is a straight up abusive relationship, um, where they actually have people in the community, like spy on you and stuff because they want to keep you in check or keep the mask in and check, keep your person in check. So that's why I'm just saying like, really watch your back. Let me get into story two. I'm sorry. I got off on a tangent there. Um, actually, let me just say really quick. And this is, so I'm going to do another reading either probably later today or tomorrow within the next two or three days. I don't know the exact date, but I am going to be doing another reading because there's some other energy updates that I channeled that are actually really positive, really, really good. Um, the masculines do need to protect themselves. They do need to be, do, do need to be mindful because for some of them, this crazy bitch will try to punch them in the face. Um... But I just want to say that like, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get more into this later, but I just want to say that, um, the karmic's power is an illusion. So I'm getting the energy that the karmics are really trying to threaten the divine feminines right now. Like either they're going to the feminines directly and threatening them, or they're threatening them through the masculine. Like they're telling the masculine, oh, you better not talk to her. Or I'm going to hex her. I'm going to take her money away. I'm going to take away her abundance, everything that's destined for her. I'm going to do this and this and this. And you know what? The masculines need to be smarter than that. Because the, the, karmic's, the karmic's not powerful. It's an illusion. Any hex that the karmic puts on the divine feminine is going to come back to the karmic tenfold. If she tries to take away something that's meant for the divine feminine, like if she tries to come after her job, her career, her destiny, whatever, it's going to come back on the karmic tenfold. So the, the divine feminine is going to be blessed and she's going to be financially abundant and the karmic is going to lose her job instead. You know what I mean? It's like the... Their hexes have no power anymore. They just don't. Like, you guys, I've channeled this. Like, like the divine feminines and masculines have so many high vibrational spirit guides around them. They have so much protection around them. And the karmics are about to fuck around and find out. They're about to find out. That's, that's something else I'm going to get into in another reading later, too. That um, the karmics are about to lose something that they never thought they could lose. This could be a job, this could be custody, this could be a home, this could be a vehicle. It's something big. It's something that they just think is so secure 
and they are about to fuck around and find out. And it's the universe and the masculine and the, and the divine feminine spirit guides basically showing these karmics what happens when they test the waters. They're going to take something really big away from them. And it's just kind of like, it's, it's just kind of showing them what, what happens if they keep this up. Because they can lose everything. They could lose everything. They could be in jail. They could be on the streets. It depends on how far the karmics want to push this. So for some, the karmics are in like a, in like a high up position or they have like a, a good job. And they feel like they can never lose that because they've been there for years. Everyone at the company loves them. They could get fired like within a month is what I'm feeling. There's energies like that where it's some, I just get I just kept getting that message very strongly I'm sorry I'm gonna get into the second story here in a second but I just kept getting that message strongly the other day it's like something that they just never thought they could lose they think it's so secure and it's gonna be taken from them like that it's gonna be bad karma is coming for them quick um and it's just the universe basically showing them it, it's basically you know because the karmics are trying to call the universe's bluff right now. They're like, oh, that's not going to happen to me. Yeah, maybe in a few years, but I'm good for now. And before they know it, it's like it's quick energy where they just lose something that they never thought they would lose. And they're like, oh, my God, this is real. This is I really like I really am screwed. I really do have all this bad karma. I really do have to balance out this bad karma or I'm going to be screwed for the rest of my life. Like, damn, this wasn't a joke. Um... So yeah, the universe is going to kind of test them and be like, okay, like I'll, I'm going to take this huge thing away from you that you never thought you could lose. Now, what are you going to do next? You want to keep messing around and I'll take more from you. You just lost a job. Okay. Do you want to get a new job and, and be okay and, and get your karma, you know, balance your karma out and, and do the right thing and, and, you know, find that temperance energy and balance this karma out. Or do you want to keep messing around and if so, we can take everything from you. Some of these karmics are going to end up homeless or they're going to end up in jail. And they never, some of them are actually really financially well off. So they don't see it coming. They feel like that could never happen to them. Like that just wouldn't happen to them. And within a, within a period of a year, or even less, they're going to find themselves in a totally different situation if they keep messing around with things that they do not understand. They are breaking karmic laws by trying to interfere with destiny with this divine feminine and masculine couple they're breaking karmic laws by trying to mess with destiny and the divine masculine and the divine feminine spirit guides are not screwing around anymore this karmic is about to screw her entire life up if she keeps it up um so i want to say that i'm going to go more into that like i said in another reading within the next few days probably probably sooner probably today or tomorrow but um but the karmic's powerless. The power, like the the, the threats are an illusion. That I'm gonna hex the feminine. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Your spirit guides and her and your the the so the masculine and the divine feminine spirit guides are not going to allow that. If the karmic tries to hex the relationship or tries to come after the feminine after her destiny after her career, or whatever, it's gonna come back on her tenfold. She's going to lose so much by doing that. And the, the feminine is safe and the masculine is safe. So just know that. You know what I mean? Just know that. Because I feel like some of the masculines are worried about their divine feminine right now. And it's like, you don't need to be worried about her. She's protected. Like, the hexes are not going to affect her. She's protected. She's good. Like, she's good. You know what I mean? Like, she's protected. And you're protected too. Just know that. Um... Because I just get like these like threats and stuff. And it's like you don't don't give her power. It's like a little spider like trying to scare. You know what I mean? Like they're, it's so tiny and you can just crush it. But it's like most people don't know that. They see the spider and they're terrified of it. But it's like it's it's you're a hundred times scarier to that spider than it is to you. Do you understand that? The karmic is like this little spider. You need to realize how tiny and pathetic she is. She's, you know what I mean? Like, she's not powerful. She looks scary. She acts scary. But it's all an illusion. It's all a show. Um, don't give her threats power. You know what I mean? Like, just don't give her threats any more power. Her hexes, from what I've been channeling, so, so a lot of karmics are trying to turn to black magic, or they have on and off in the past. 
it's not working anymore for her. Black magic, she's like, she's cut off from doing black. Like, I don't know if cut off is the right word, but like her spells are ineffective now. They're basically like, they're coming back on her. Like they're all that energy, like like the divine masculine and the divine feminine, like spirit guides are like holding that energy and they're just waiting to throw it back on the karmic. Like she's, when she goes to hex the divine feminine or goes to hex the relationship between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, she's actually hexing herself because the divine masculine and feminine spirit guides are holding all that energy and they're just waiting to put it back on the karmic. So the karmic is actually hurting herself by trying to come after the masculine, the feminine, um, as a couple and also individually. So, um... You know, they just, just know that you're protected and that, you know, the, like the masculine and the feminine, like both you guys are protected and the relationship is protected. So just understand that and don't give her threats power. It's all an illusion. It's, you know, the karmic is good at illusion. She's good at manipulation. She's good at gaslighting. But if you see through her, you'll, you'll realize how weak and scared and insecure she really is. Um, so I just want to say that, that her hexes actually have no effect on the divine feminine at this point. They're coming back on her tenfold. But anyway, let me, so I don't want to, I know I drag these on these, there's so much information that comes through with these readings. Um, and I do want to say protect yourself just because this bitch, these bitches are so crazy. Like they're so unstable. They're so, um, just neurotic and they're so, they're the kind of women that to like punch another girl in the face at the bar or, um, or stock or slit tires. Like they're crazy. They're just not powerful. Does that make sense? So it's like, you do need to be physically safe. You do need to guard yourself. You do need to, to keep one eye open when you sleep, you know, you do need to meet, you do need to be mindful of what they're doing because they're so psychotic, but I'm just saying that they have no real genuine power. Their hexes are ineffective they're they're messing with energy that they do not understand and that is coming back on them tenfold um and they're basically screwing themselves up right now the more they do this the more they're screwing themselves over like i said every hex that they try to do on the feminine is actually coming back on her tenfold on the on the karmic tenfold um any hex they do on the masculine too is also coming back on them tenfold any hex they do on the relationship also coming back on the karmic tenfold. Like I've channeled before, she's going to actually end up separating herself from her, from her true love by doing this. If she keeps this up. Um, anyway, I've gotten more into that, into those readings before, um, the last like week or so. So you can check those out, but I just wanted to put that message out there. Just, you know, have faith in the divine feminine and the divine feminine's power in your power. If you're a divine feminine, have faith in your power. If you're a divine masculine watching this, have faith in your divine feminine's power. Um, have faith in the relationship. Like know, you know, it's true love. It's just know that it's true love. That's very power. That's the most powerful thing in the universe. You know, it really is. Um, no, just don't give the karmic threats power. Just don't. It's it's all illusion. She's just. It's a lot of drama. It's a lot of. She, she's just like a succubus soul. She just needs that attention. She needs that drama, and you need to take that power away from her. You know what I mean? Say like, go ahead, hex my feminine. I'll call her. I'll warn her. You know, do it. Whatever. Like. Like her threats are an illusion is just what I'm saying. I think for some, she's saying, oh, I'm going to get this person fired and she actually can't, or she's, she's just bluffing. She's bluffing a lot is the energy that I get. She's trying to, you know, say, I'm going to get this person fired. or I'm going to take them off path from, from their destiny, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to come after, I'm going to come after their business or whatever they're trying to do, blah, blah, blah. All that's protected already. So she can't, like I said, it's going to come back on the karmic tenfold if she even tries to. Same with the masculine. Whatever she tries to do to him is also going to come back on her tenfold. Um, and this could carry over in lifetimes. This could be like not just this lifetime. She could actually screw herself for lifetimes to come. But anyway, I'm sorry. Let me get to the point because there is another story here that I wanted to tell really quick. 
Um, and I'll get more into that energy I was talking about earlier, you know, just now I'll, I'll get more into that in another reading. Like I said, I just wanted to put that message out there really quick. Do not give her threats power. It doesn't mean that you have to call her out to her face because like I said, some of them are pretty crazy. So you need to kind of watch yourself. Um, because she might just punch you in the face. For some, this is an abusive relationship where she actually will punch the masculine in the face. Um, and he needs to be mindful of that and protected and, you know, just get out of there and not even say a word to her. Just, just get out, protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself. But, um, but yeah, her threats, it's just, it's just illusion. She's just grasping at straws right now. So I just want to let you guys know that. Don't take her threats so seriously. Um, like I said, her hexes just have no power and they're coming back on her tenfold. You know, she's it's, it's just, just stop giving her power. Stop. And this goes for feminines. This goes for both masculines that are giving her power and listening to her threats. And this also goes for feminines too because sometimes the feminines kind of you know, think the karmic is powerful because it's like the karmic is dramatic and intense and psychotic. She's not powerful though. She has no genuine power and she has no spirit guides on her side. The universe is against her. There are gods and goddesses and angels and fae spirits and dragon spirits and so many beings that are against her that are about ready to screw her entire life up beyond belief if she keeps this up. So just, just know that just, you know what I mean? Even if, even if you're in, if you're in that situation, you don't have to say anything to her, but just understand that her threats are powerless. Just understand that. Just understand that whatever she, you know what I mean? If she's saying she's going to try to come after your job or your person's job, it's like, she's, she's either bluffing and trying to pretend like she has information on your, on the person that she doesn't have or she's planning on hexing, but the hex is, like I said, the hex is not going to work. Um, and these karmics love drama. And when you stop getting wrapped up into that drama, they, they get bored. And that's when they finally move on because they're not, they're succubuses. And well, that's when they finally move on because they're not getting the attention and drama that they're seeking. Because it's like, you're like... You're like, okay, hex her. Hex my feminine. I'll call her and warn her. Do it. You know what I mean? It's like, don't stop. Just stop giving them power. Just stop giving them power. Oh. Or like I said, you might be a feminine that's in this energy. And it's like, you're worried she's going to hex you or whatever. Do this. It's like, she's just, don't give her power. Don't. She's a little spider. She's a little spider. There's a little tiny scared spider that you just need to crush. Honestly. But like I said, do be physically careful. If you're in this situation where you're, if you're a masculine and you're in this situation where you're around her a lot, I feel like she could be physically abusive. Like she could be someone that will slap or, or slap someone or like slit tires. So it's like, you do have to be careful around her. You do have to just get out. And if you need to have a serious conversation, have it in the, have it on the phone when she does not know your location, don't let her know where you're at, you know, maybe even get a restraining order for some of you, protect yourself, and then you can have that serious conversation over the phone, like over the phone, tell her, you know what, go ahead, hex my feminine, I'm fine, but do it from a safe distance, do it like when you're not physically in the same room with her, basically, is what I'm getting, like you need to kind of be safe there, just because she's so emotional and dramatic and crazy, and I don't want to see any masculines getting, you know, slapped or punched in the face because of the, because this bitch is so crazy. But, um, but yeah, I mean, do it like on the phone from a safe distance and make sure she doesn't know where you're staying. Make sure she doesn't have your information, your location, just really be safe. Um... And be intuitive too. you know, acknowledge how, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't give this karmic the benefit of the doubt anymore. Don't think, oh, like she probably wouldn't stalk me or she probably wouldn't. She, she's probably not going to cause, no, like she's, she's not powerful. She's just psychotic and she's insecure and she's pathetic. So just be aware of that. But, um, the, anyway, I want to get to the point. So there's, so I'm sorry, there is a second story here. So the first story was whatever that was in the box that was, um, some kind of family secret 
I feel like this family secret might not ever come out. Like I said, I feel like whatever this karmic is hiding, the masculine might not ever find out about it. This message was just meant to let him know that, um, that, you know, his intuition was right. Because I think a lot of the masculines are finally trusting their intuition because the karmic has tried for so long to keep the masculines tied down and to make them doubt their intuition and make them, and try to make them doubt the connection they have with the divine feminine and it, and the karmic has even used other people to try to make the masculine d doubt his connection with the divine feminine you know she's even gone to like co-workers like business partners friends neighbors whoever to try to confuse the masculine family members even to try to make him doubt the connection with the divine feminine um so the masculine is now learning to finally lose finally use his intuition um, it's like, and it's, it's like, you'll, you, you don't use it, you lose it. So now he's getting it back. <laughs> now he's starting to trust it. So I think this was just a message for someone that needed to know, Hey, like she was gaslighting you. There was something in the box that was your intuition. You don't ne necessarily need to know what was in the box, but you just need to know that, you know, you, you were right on that. There was something there. Um, so I just want to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the second person here who's probably like, what is this bitch going to stop talking and tell me what the other story is? So for the second person, there's, there's also a box hidden, I think under a bed or in a closet, there was a box hidden somewhere in the bedroom. Um, and I'm getting that... This box, I, I saw a black candle. Or I saw some kind of dark spell work, but I think it was a spell that had been previously done. And for some reason, she wanted to keep the, um, the ingredients of the spell in this box. Like maybe she was trying to, I don't know why she didn't bury it or whatever, why she didn't get rid of the spell work. But for some reason, maybe it's like a spell where she lit the candle Cause I see this black candle that has like, it's like drip, like there's like, it's, it's dripped down. So it's like, it's not fully burnt out. And, and this could be past energy. Like I said, I don't know for sure if this is past or current energy. This box might not be there anymore. But if this is your story, you're going to know this. You're going to be like, oh yeah, I remember her going through that box. I remember feeling weird about it. Or I remember, like, if you're a divine feminine, you're going to be like, oh, I remember my masculine telling me that there was a weird box or something like that. Like, there was something weird going on that she was hiding. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to, there's going to be something obvious that lets you know that this is for you. So don't try to make it fit if it's not fitting. Like I said, this is very specific. This is only for two specific people here in this energy group. But for the second person, I'm getting that the box holds, um... Or it could be something else. I because I feel like so for the first person it was like a, a shoe box that holds um like pictures and whatnot under the bed. But for the second person, I'm getting that it's it's spell work. I don't know if it's in a box though. I'm actually for the second person, I'm not a hundred percent sure if this black candle is in a box. I feel like it could be somewhere else. I feel like it's in the bedroom. Um or the bathroom. Is there a bathroom close to the bedroom? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to see what I can pick up here. I don't know where she has it hidden. I feel like it's someplace that you wouldn't think to look. For one of the people in this story, I feel like the masculine, the divine masculine actually caught the karmic um, with this box or doing like a spell or something. Like he either caught her doing a spell or he caught her, or she, okay, so he might have caught her doing a spell, and it might have been her trying to hex him or hex someone else, or do breakup work, and she said, like, oh, I'm not doing breakup work or anything like that, I'm actually doing, like, a money spell or an abundance spell, she lied, because maybe the masculine doesn't know that much about witchcraft, so he bought it, you know what I mean, she was like, oh, I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm doing witchcraft, but because she got caught. I think that she, maybe he came home early or something like that. She thought that she, because I'm getting that this karmic does witchcraft in their house when he's not home. She tries to time it just right. She does these spells when he's not around. 
And I'm getting for some, it's like the masculine came home early or like some, some, someone came by or something happened where, where she got caught doing spell work. And I think she tried to lie and say, um, oh, that was like a money spell or that was like, like she got, it was like a deer in headlights kind of energy where she got caught and she was like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't hexing anybody. I was, um, I know the timing is weird, but I was actually doing a, a money spell for my job or I was doing you know, so like a protection spell or something like she, like she lied up, like she did something, she was doing something dark and the masculine felt it was dark. He could feel something was off with whatever spell work she was doing that he saw her doing. Like he actually caught her mid spell doing the spell in the bedroom or in some kind of, you know, empty room or something. And she lied about what kind of spell work it was. Um, for the other story, for the person that has, you know, the, these pictures in the shoe box under the bed, I feel like the masculine is aware of the box, but I feel like she, she said that, um, like, oh, it's just old family photos. Or maybe she said like, oh, I keep my feminine products in there. Like maybe he didn't see what's in the box, but she was like, oh, I keep my, like my feminine products in here or whatever. So, you know, don't go through it. It's weird. You know, something like that, something to just throw, try to throw him off. Um, But yeah, for the spell, okay, so for the, for the, if your story is, you know, this karmic had a, um, is like doing spell work or something, I'm just feeling like, I feel like she does dark magic when you're not at home. If you guys are living together, I feel like she does these dark spells when you're not home, um, cause she doesn't want to get caught. Cause I see her like kneeling in this empty room or like a, like a, it's like on the floor, like she does it on the floor for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe there's not a lot of space or something. Um, she's also she's also powerless. Like she's like when she does these spells, she has like a couple little pathetic imp, like low vibrational entities working with her. But like the masculine and the divine feminine have so many gods and goddesses and angels and fae and powerful beings around them that it's like she like she wouldn't want to do these hexes if she knew how bad it's going to come back on her. Like, like her heck, like I said, her hexes are not even affecting anybody anymore. Like, like the divine, there's divine intervention here. The divine masculine and divine feminine spirit guides have actually just stepped in and taken control. So all the energy she's putting into the hex is coming back on her tenfold. Like it's not even touching them anymore. They're just taking that energy. Like the, the spirit guides are taking that energy and holding it and getting ready to, throw it back on the karmic if need be um because I see her like kneeling or doing something I'm I see like very um god I see like a. Uh, I just see a black candle I think for some but it's like it's like a candle that's like there's it's like drips down a lot so I feel like maybe she um was doing it and the masculine was on his way home early or something. So she had to put it away. So she kept the candle because she wants to continue doing the, the work that she was doing. Um, so like I said, some for, for, for some, you might've caught the masculine might have caught her doing this spell and she tried to play it off and say it was like a, a money spell or something. There's like a deer in headlight moments here. Head, there's like a deer in headlights moment here where she was like, oh shit, like I did not expect him to be home already. Or like, like he just opens the door and she's, you know what I mean? Or he finds something and he's like, what's this? Like, this is, this is weird. I didn't, what is this candle? And she's like, oh, that was like a money spell I did, you know? And it's like, mm -mm. no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and he knows. I think this reading is all about, um, it's not even necessarily about catching the karmic. It's more about the masculine learning to trust his intuition. This is just confirmation for a couple masculines, or it could be like, you could be a divine feminine and you're going to let your masculine know about this video so that you can kind of reassure him to trust his intuition. This, this video, I think I'm getting the purpose of it is really to get the, the divine masculine to trust his intuition more because whether it was a box under the bed that he felt weird about, or whether it was spell work that she was doing that he caught her doing and he felt it was dark, but she tried to play it off and say she it, say it wasn't breakup work or it wasn't a hex. It was just, you know, it was just a money spell or something, but he knows better. 
he knows better. Um, like he knew, like something felt dark and weird to him. He, something felt off, but he didn't, he didn't want to deal with it. So he didn't, but, but now this is like confirmation that that was his intuition telling him, Hey, something's off here. He needs to listen to those gut feelings. He needs to listen when he feels that pit in his, in his stomach. When he feels like there's something dark, my body feels tense. I feel weird. He needs to listen to that and be like, Hey, the karmic is darker than you realize she is. The karmic isn't even as dark as you as the masculines think they are. The karmics are actually darker than the masculines realize that they are. You know what I mean? Like a lot of them work with demons. A lot of them do try to work with demons. They honestly do. They're succubus souls. A lot of them are succubus. Like they literally have like a succubus soul. Like they're, you know. I want to say succubus souls also hate face souls. And for some, your divine feminine has a fairy soul, which I know probably sounds crazy to those of you that are not used to that. But for some of you, so the succubus souls hate fairy souls and angel souls. And a lot of divine feminines have fairy souls, like they're, they're from the fairy realm or they're from the angelic realm or they're, or both. There's, there's hybrids too. I know that sounds probably crazy. I, it's, it's, I know it's strange. It's a lot to take in, I'm sure. But, um... But the karmics are, um, I'm getting like, like soulless or like succubus soul kind of energy here. And succubus spirits hate face spirits and they hate angels too. So they, they automatically hate them. So just keep that in mind. Um, where was I going with that? Channeling is so weird because I'll just be like, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, wait, where, what's my point? Where was I going with that? Because <laughs> all this information pours through all at once. But yeah, this reading was meant to basically tell the masculine to trust his intuition. It was confirmation because the masculine already knew this. This is, some, like I said, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. This is for two specific people, two very specific people. So either the masculine saw the box and she played it off and she was like, oh, it's just old family photos. Don't worry about it, you know, um, or, oh, it's just my feminine products or whatever. Like, don't worry about what's in the box. But he was like, something feels dark and weird. And now it's just you know, like he doesn't need to know what's in the box. It doesn't matter. The point is just no. Sh the, the point of this is just to show him, hey, that really was your intuition. So next time you you have that that feeling in the pit of your stomach that something feels dark and weird, you can listen to it. You can understand you know, this is all about teaching the masculine how to use his intuition. Um, and my ears are ringing as I say this too. Some of these masculines might be very clairaudient as well. Clairaudient. Um, and, and like I said, for the, so for the other, the other, the second story is it's, it's a spell. I see a black candle. And I don't know if there's a box under the bed for this one though. I feel like she might've just hit it somewhere like in like the back of a closet or in a bathroom behind a dresser um somewhere he wouldn't think to look or like a room he doesn't go in or something like that um but I feel like he saw this spell already like he probably like he probably saw this already in the past and she said that it was something she said it was like a money she said it was something it wasn't and, and like he felt it like it was a hex he felt like it was dark he felt creepy about it but she said like, oh no, it's not a hex. It's just, I'm just doing a spell to get a promotion at work or, or get more money or something. And he's like, oh, okay. And he brushed it off. But in his stomach, he felt like he felt something weird with that. So it's just, like I said, it's just more confirmation to trust your intuition. Um, so yeah, for that second one, it's, it's, it's hexing. It's, it's dark spell work that she does working with demons, working with succubus spirits. She is a succubus. If, if that's, if that's your story, she actually is a succubus. Look into succubuses. Um, she, t she actually gets power. Succubuses get power by having sex with men. They're very seductive. They, they literally get power by, by having, like having sex with men. Like they take, or women, you know, incubus, succubus, whatever. Like they take that energy and that power when they have sex with someone. Like an energy vampire, basically. Like 
for some, the masculine could not get it up with her. And that's why, because it's his intuition saying, hey, uh, -uh nope. <laughs> his intuition protecting him and being like, you know what I mean? Like, because for some, the masculines have like no sex drive when it comes to the karmic. And it's because the karmic is a succubus. And, um, you know, the, the his spirit guides are protecting him. They're making sure he can't, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're blocking that from happening. They're blocking that. Um, I also feel like some of the karmics might have been insecure and pissed off by the fact that, that the masculine did not want them sexually. So they actually did a limp dick spell to try to make it so that he could not have sex with his, his divine feminine. Like she, some of them, the karmics tried to, um, this is for a few people. So I know there's a couple specific messages here for two people, but this one, this message right here is actually for a few people. I feel like the karmic might have done the limp dick spell, which is basically like trying to hex the masculine sex life, trying to make it so he can't get it up or make it make, just make problems happen sexually because she was upset because he does not want her sexually. He would not touch her with a 10 foot pole. So she wanted to make sure that he was not having sex with the divine feminine. She was too jealous and bitter about that. So she wanted to block that from happening. Because she knows, like, she knows that the masculine wants a divine feminine in ways that he never wanted her, you know? But, um... But, yeah, okay, so I, let me, sorry, let me just wrap this up. I'm sorry, I know these get so long. Um, you know, talk to me, too. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know if, if these are too long, too sh if you like it this long because you like all the, the details, the information, um, you know what I mean? I want to try to shorten them just so more people can get the messages without having to sit through like hours of this. Cause I know there's just, there's a lot of information that just comes through. There are so many spirit guides that want to get the, the divine masculines away from the karmics and back to the divine feminines. If they are in separation, for those of you that are in separation, there's a lot of like twin flame and soulmate and life partner unions coming, you know, this year, this is like, this is the time. The time is now for that. So there's a lot of major energy, you know, energy shifts going on right now. A lot of karmics are being pushed out of the picture for sure. But yeah, there's like a black candle for that. So the, for that one person, it's like, it's like she's hexing and there's remnants of the hex somewhere. Like maybe she, she hit it somewhere. Like I feel like she did the spell. She might, like I said, she might've gotten caught and she probably tried to play it off. Like she, like it was just some other type of spell. Cause I feel like for that specific one, she does spell work when the masculine is not home. Whenever he's at work, she does the spell work. She does a lot of spell work actually. Maybe not recently. Cause I'm not getting like a recent energy, but I'm getting in the past she has. But, um, But I just get that she has like supply, like dark magic supplies. Like she has like this black candle somewhere or she had it. I don't know if she still has it or not. Maybe she got rid of it, but I just see like a black candle that she's like hiding somewhere. It's like, cause she, she lit it. And then like the divine masculine maybe caught her mid spell, or maybe he was on his way home early from work. And so she hid, she had to blow the candle out early. So she hid it somewhere, but she's planning on relighting it again at a later date. This could even be like a spell she did a few weeks ago and maybe she just never got around to relighting it. Like she just kind of dropped it or whatever, but it's it's still like behind a dresser somewhere in the house. Um, for others though, she might've thrown it away already. But there is some kind of energy here that yeah, she is doing spells when the masculine is not home or she has been. She might not be doing it right now. Like she might not be doing it the past couple of weeks, but in general she does. It's on and off with her. For, for this particular person, I feel like it's on and off. So it's not like an all the time thing. It's like she goes a couple of weeks without doing it. Sometimes she gets busy or stressed and distracted and she kind of lets the spell work go. Or she gets cocky or whatever and just thinks she doesn't need it or whatever. But it, it's like there's, she's, she hasn't stopped doing it. It's not like she's stopped doing spell work out of the goodness of her heart or anything like that. It's more like she's gotten busy or stressed or focused on other things or she's super cocky. So she thinks she doesn't need the spell work, but I'm still getting like, I just see that black candle. Like there's something about that black candle that either she, she did it or it's still in the house that maybe she's planning on going back to it at a later date. 
But like I said, for that, if that's your story, don't don't worry. She has no power. Her hexes are powerless at this point. She's basically been neutralized and it's all coming back on her tenfold. So you don't need to worry about her doing dark magic because it's not going to do jack shit. Um, shield yourself though. Shield yourself because you know some of them do work with demons, and you do need to shield yourself. You do need to be, you do need to be a few steps ahead of her. You do need to be mindful. You need to plan things out. You need to be logical. Don't do anything impulsive. You know, um, if you need to have a serious conversation and put the karmic in her place, you need to do it from a safe distance over the phone, not in person. But um. But yeah, that ended up being longer than I thought it was going to be. But there's a message about spell, about like, yeah, she does hexes when she does dark magic when the when the mask comes at work. Maybe not recently, maybe not the past couple of weeks, but in general on and off, she does. And this could have been going on for a long time, too. Um, and I'm just getting that she hides, like she, there's, I just, I just can't tell the date. Like, I don't know if she still has the black candle or not. I don't know. I just see that she's hiding, that she, she was hiding or she is hiding a black candle somewhere like behind like a, like a dresser. That's like a, like a dark oak kind of color. I don't know if it's oak. I don't know what it is. It's like some kind of wood. Um, or in the dresser or just somewhere that he would not think to look. Cause I'm feeling like there's like remnants of the spells around the house, but he doesn't like, I don't know. I don't know where she's hiding them. It's almost like she's like, maybe she like buries it in the backyard or something, or she like, I don't know what it is. So I just see that black candle. But anyway, um, like I said, the karmics do not have power, so please stop giving them power. This goes to both divine masculines and divine feminines. You know, the only power the karmics have is the power that you give them. So protect yourself. Be logical. Um, don't worry about her doing hexes. Like I said, there's, there's, she can't. It's not working for her anymore. If she tries, it's coming back on her tenfold, like I said, so don't even worry about it. Um, she can hex till she's blue in the face. She can hex a relationship. She can hex this masculine's dick again if she wants to. She can hex the car- the- she can hex- she's hexing herself. She's hexing the karmic. The karmic is hexing the karmic. Um, you know, she can hex the divine feminine and try to come after her destiny or her success or her fame, fortune, whatever. It's not going to work. It's going to come back on the karmic tenfold and she's going to be screwed. And the divine feminine is going to be fine. The divine masculine is going to be fine. Um, the divine has stepped in basically. There's been divine intervention. So maybe her hexes did work in the past, but they don't work anymore because the divine has stepped in and now they're blocking the hexes from working and they're taking all that energy and preparing to send it back to the karmic. So that's why it's, it's like, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You're good. But, um, but yeah, still be logical, be mindful, be careful. If you need to put her in her place and have serious conversations, do it on the phone from a safe distance when she does not know where you're at. She does not know your location. You do need to be physically safe. Like keep, you know, keep an eye on this because like I said, she is the slit your tires, slap you in the face type. Um, that black candle throws me cause I'm like, I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's still in the house or not. She could have buried it in the backyard. Because I see her burying some stuff in the backyard. Some like remnants of spells and stuff. For some. That's a weird energy. But um, you guys are safe. Don't even worry. Don't, don't let her phase you. Um, be logical. Be mindful. Protect yourself. And um, have faith. In destiny, have faith in true love. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing some more energy updates soon, um, within a couple days, I would say. Uh, probably within two or three days. I, I don't know the exact, it just, I just kind of do them when they come to me. Like, I was tired, I didn't even want to do this video, but I kept getting, like, someone needs this message really bad. And I kept getting, like, posted at 6 a.m. So I'm like, okay, we're doing it. <laughs> but, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe if it resonates. Subscribe to me. I also do paid private readings. If you want me to go more in depth into your story, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. 
My email address is right below this video. So, so yeah, send me an email. See you guys later.